here we are first stop on the list is the settlement tree stump very uh, odd place to find a tree stump we could jump to that maybe <laughs> don't don't think it's worth risking though or is it what's up survivors i'm natural born and welcome to episode 49 of our random gen let's play and first and foremost as always i just want to say a massive thank you to everyone for all of the support on all of the videos you guys are the real mvps now for today's episode i think it's time that we continue doing some looting in the hub city got a decent amount of loot up here but we're going to go ahead and leave this stuff behind and we're going to get straight out there into the chaos oh yeah we've got a dog there spider zombies all right is he coming come on boy oh all right we have to pull out the club Goddamn dogs. Right, level 123. Looking pretty good. Undetected. Alright. So I think for today's episode, we're going to spend another day in the hub city. And we're going to do some looting. I want to hit up a few of those other POIs. Ones that we haven't actually explored yet during this let's play and the first on my list would have to be the shanty town otherwise known as the settlement i'm gonna go ahead we're gonna dump that crap in there our axe is looking a bit buggered but that's all good we've got forged on us to repair all of our tools now the one thing that i do wish that i had brought with me to the hub city would be a workbench and that's something that i'd recommend to you guys if you ever do a big mission like this and you plan on being away from your base for a few days definitely bring a workbench with you all right so we've got working stiff tools here i'm pretty sure we looted this place though yes yeah, so we've got the uh drop box right there so we're just going to loop around here as I check this car, because we've got to remember that the main thing we're here for is oil. No doubt we're going to have to fight off a crap ton of zombies today, but that's all good. That just seems to be the way of life in the hub city. Alright. Here we are first stop on the list is the settlement otherwise known as shanty town i don't think we can get in here all right so i know that there is a way that you can sneak in here if i remember correctly might be around here oh, almost jump through here we go and we're in now there is a few good things you can find in this place there is a gun safe you do have to be super careful with the gun safe though because it does have a landmine in front of it and that is the last thing you want to be doing is blowing yourself up all the way out here all right so pretty much just going to raid everything in here i can hear zombies breaking in but we ain't gonna worry about them they should be more worried about us. Alright, some beer will take it. Might not even be a bad idea. Look at that, six beers. Might not be a bad idea to uh, drink some of those before we engage in combat next. What else have we got around here? We've got a bank there and the cracker book there. Now we don't need to hit cracker books anymore i'm pretty sure that we actually have every schematic in the game apart from the herbal antibiotics recipe and for us to obtain that one we need to find a mountain man chest and i have no idea where we would find one of those in random gen 
going to say that it'll purely come down to luck. Stone, we don't want the stone. And more beverage coolers with more beer. That four beers out of that one. All right. So we should have a wee food mart here. If I remember correctly, there is one or two. Yeah, two Shanway foods. Might as well uh, crack these open. It's uh, sounding pretty goddamn crazy out there at the moment. We're actually going to uh, take the shopping basket since we now have Quality Joe level 3. And we got a Quality 21. Alright. Holy crap, what is going on out there? See if we can get up here and get a bit of luck, eh? Oh, only seems to be a couple of them out there. They're beating on the walls. Yeah, we should be pretty good to finish looting before they make their way inside. Alright, what about this one? 287. And this one? 197. Alright. Nothing too amazing here at the moment. I might even, now that we do have quality Joe perk 3 we might skip all the cupboards and more focus on trash cans and rubbish bins and all that good stuff all right so right in here right down there you can see we have a mine now the question is can we get a good shot from back here all right might have to uh, get rid of the sink quickly Line it up. Beautiful. Alright, it is sounded epic. I think there is another mine here right there. There's a couple of them. So we're just going to stand back here and hit this gun safe. And see what type of goodies we can pull out. Pull of that. 592 on the hunting rifle barrel take it all. Oh shit. Alright, we got company. One, two, where are they come from? Right through the side. Um, yeah, we're even, not even going to worry about them. They can uh, run around, do their thing, and we will do the same. B. And our rubbish bin's up here. Not looking to get ourselves trapped. And, alright, I think that's it for there. Just gonna jump straight out. Alright, scrap some of this crap. We might have to uh, combine some of those gun parts. We're at day 66 now. So, as long as we're back in the Iron Fortress or the Aerial Assault Base. Before day 70, then we should be looking pretty good. But yeah, unfortunately, we didn't find a lot of good loot in there. But that's all good. Now, the bank could be a good place, but um, like I said, gun parts and schematics is pretty much the only thing that we're going to find in there. And we don't really need a lot of that at the moment. Long barrel. Short barrel. Is that it? So I'll uh, combine these together as well. Just to save on a bit of room. Drink some water. That 15 beer already. Might as well uh, drink one of those too. And we might even use a first aid bandage. We do have quite a few of them, just to passively get our health up a little bit. Alright, that's locked. No worries, we'll go straight through the fence. Now, as I've mentioned, there is not a lot of good loot here at the skate park. The main thing we're after is all of these trash cans and all of this rubbish that is everywhere. 
like I said, we're on the hunt for oil. He won't have oil, but a leather duster will take it. Scrap all of this crap. Oh, yeah, we got zombies coming in here too. That's all good. Should be able to avoid them with a little bit of parkour. No worries at all. No wheel. All right, can we jump him? Yeah, boy. Too bad you can't get yourself a wee bike in this. A wee BMX. Uh, and the nail gun schematic. Pretty sure we just recently found one of those. crap in there and yeah but no oil and like I said oil is the main thing that we are after right now all right inventory's looking pretty chocker scrap those quickly check this trash nothing all right and oh get up there all right all of you just come on in you come. Oh, apart from you, you little bastard. You can stay out of here. And of course, we believe. Uh, right, we might drop this guy. See if he's got oil, or maybe not. Alright, we're just going to avoid these guys. I don't want to spend the whole episode fighting zombies again, because that's pretty much what we've done in the last episode. Got working stuff. So this Daisy in suits. Have a quick look at the map. Alright, so we need to go up that side. Pretty much straight through here. Oop. Fuck a drive today, that is. A tree stump. It's very, uh, Odd place to find a tree stump. But that's all good. So I check these cars. Alright, we're not uh, having good luck with the wheel today. I'm just going to go ahead and drop a few things at the moment. Because we are pretty chocker for loot. Alright, what have we got in this POI here? Passing gas. Alright, we'll go ahead and loot this place. We should be able to find some oil in here. Let me go ahead and eat this crap quickly. Need some bullets. Come on, reload. Oh, oh, oh shit. Um, Alright, was not expecting that to happen. <laughs> Holy shit. Damn, where were the explosions like that on Horde Night? That did a lot of block damage too. Very lucky that uh, didn't kill me. And unfortunately, we got no loot from that. Damn, alright, well, might as well dip back inside quickly. Don't think we're going to find much trash in the bathrooms. Garage storage is usually pretty good. A duffel bag, alright. Drop some more crap again. Just gonna drop the glass jars and we're gonna scrap the arrows. So we've got plenty of those back at base. What else was in there? Food? Nah, we don't need it. We're gonna bust our way. Oh, actually, we'll go out this way. Yeah, it looks like they've uh, done a bit of damage. I oh, know, barbed way there. So we're looking pretty good. Grab these gas barrels. We should be returning back to base with a bit of brass as well, which will be bloody good. A lot of people have asked me the uh, best way to get brass. In my personal opinion, it's just looting. Now, your best option is to throw these smeltable items straight into your forge, but... uh. 
you're out and about quite far away from your base and you've got a lot of loot on you, then you highly recommend to just scrap them. Alright, chat lady. Say, so is that top? I don't think so. Alright, well, <laughs> that was an eventful POI. Here, load up on gas. Beautiful. Anything else that can go on there? Um, gosh, look pretty good at the moment. And like I said, we need to uh, hit all of these trash piles. Because yeah, oil is the main aim of the game at the moment. Right, so I know we loaded this place last time. Oh, take the battery. For sure. But I think we had a hard right down there. So we're going to keep going this way. See what we can find. There we go. Get rid of that little bastard first. More brass. Spider zombie. Come on, man, where's the oil? Oh, got another dog. Probably going to have to kill him anyway, because I don't think he's going to give up the chase for quite some while. Some zombies just lurking out there. Oh. Oh. Yeah, he's still coming. This must be the edge of the hub city up here. Jump off, check this car quickly. Alright, is that dog coming? No, we're looking pretty good. Go ahead, drop a bunch of this crap again. Like I said, I want to keep our inventory just a little bit clear in case we do find oil. This has uh, definitely been the worst day for finding oil, though. That is for sure. I think that's where we uh, first came into the hub city. So I don't think we've actually been down this way yet. Might as well check this car. Not what we're looking for. parking lot. Yeah, we'll keep going around here. Now, I've never set up in a parking lot before, but I'd say that'd be a really good place to set up a horde base early game. If you come across one of these, because the whole thing's made out of concrete, so you can um, you definitely have a lot of defense. You've got multiple levels to it. So you can set up traps on each level, so it'd make a pretty good horde base on the fly, though. Man, we're definitely not having luck today. Check this. And drop that. Now, I've dropped a bit of gunpowder. Probably should have held on to it, though. Didn't think we'd find a bit of it. Sandwiches. Check this car. Man. What else have we got? No trash, nothing. Dukes, glue, and tin oil. Beautiful. If we can uh, find a few more hits like that, we'll be pretty good. There should be a wall safe. Yep, right there. We ain't going to worry about that, though. Oh. Oh, I just jumped over that dog. See those skills. Come here, boy. Yeah, little bastard. Get out of here. Ah, oh, crap. We're dropping everything. That's all good. Not even going to worry about it. We're just going to keep moving. Just going to keep on keeping on. Let's 
scrape that, drop this, and I'm going to drop that glow as well. Alright, get into this car. Oh, let's go. Go, you bastard. Get out of my way. <laughs> Goddamn dogs. Tell you what, we're going to take this dog down. Hopefully. Pop some antibiotics. See if we can find some trash around here. Nothing. Might actually scrape that fire axe quickly. Painkillers. The game's trying to tell us something. Might as well eat one of them. Paper. Iron shovel, we're going to scrap that too. We just don't have the room at the moment. Like I said, wheel is the main thing. We've got an engine there too. Might as well drop that for the engine. Now, if you've noticed, we've left some bits of loot in some of these items. There's no worries at all. If we come back here one day and we decide to hit all of these again, all we have to do is remove the item and then the loot will respawn, providing it's been 15 days. So that's what we have our timer set to on this world. Alright, we're having a pretty trash luck here. Literally trash. And oh, look at that, we've got a drop chest here. We might as well hit it. Deal with him. See if it cause us problems. We have wheel. Of course you don't. Gonna hack him up with the axe, make it a bit quicker. Providing I can hit this body, that is. Right. Looking good. Looking safe. Alright, we are definitely taking that oil. Scrap that. I'm gonna leave all of these behind. Don't need them. Probably actually going to need to drink some of this. Leave the dukes, the weapons. We might leave the shotgun shotgun rounds. We'll take the 9mm. We'll take the beer. We'll leave the duct tape. I know we've got plastic somewhere else, so we'll take that. And calipers are worth quite a lot to sell. Now, I'm probably going to throw them into a couple of the forges that we have back at base that will primarily be used to smelt down damn near everything in the game. Mechanical parts we will take. And I know we have a stack of animal hide somewhere, so we'll take that too as well. Oh, oh no! Did not want to eat the mouldy bread. <laughs> I was trying to eat the goddamn can of lamb. Well, there we go. We have uh, food poisoning for the first time in the series. You feel sick to your stomach. I bet you do, mate. You don't want to go around eating that shit, picking mouldy sandwiches up and eating them. Desperate times call for desperate measures, eh? Oh, and we lost wellness, and we got no stem. Alright, get that spider zombie. Might as well clean up this quickly. And then we can back on our mini bike. Alright, god damn it. How are we looking for time? Check this map quickly. So we need to go up the next block. Alright, big boy, watch out. Oh, there's two of them. Not looking to uh, deal with them after the last run-in we had. Alright, so let's see if we have anything up here. Looking for trash, piles of trash, cans, all of that stuff. Alright. 
I recall correctly, this POI is the electric company. I'm just trying to think what loot's in there. I know there's a few working stiff crates in there. I'll tell you what. Because we're looting different POIs that we haven't looted in this series. That's pretty much the goal for today's episode. We're going to go ahead, pop this up. And... Chuck some of this crap in here. Oh, get out of here, you little zigzaggy bastard. Oh, trying to jump on the car to get away from him. Um, not even going to loot him. Really can't be bothered. Get another one. Alright, come on then, boy. Oh. Yeah, that timing. Alright, you can piss off. Of them all just coming. Tell you what, there is an easier way to do this, where we don't have to worry about them coming in right behind us. One more, and we're just going to jump over. Right, they can slowly beat their way in here. It is fine by me. We're going to loot all these cars in hopes of finding some oil. Oh, beautiful, there's eight oil there. Four oil there. Oh, that's trash for days. Only time you love to see it. Bunch of shit. Gunpowder. See, it probably would have been smart to hold on to a lot of the gunpowder that we had since we've come across quite a lot now. Drop, oh, drop that. Just want to drop the cloth, but that is fine. And, yeah, I'm not even going to worry about it. Alright, so 22 oil today. It's pretty good. Definitely not going to complain about that. But we must be coming up to just over two stacks now. Surely. Alright, we're going to bust our way in here. This should take us to a wee underground portion. Heaps of uh, electrical consoles down here that you can pull apart with a wrench. So this is another place that if you could spend a night down here, even during the day, come down here with your wrench and these here. You can wrench all of these for a really good amount of uh, electrical parts and components. We have mechanical parts on us, so might as well grab that. Once again, I'm going to have to scrap and drop a bunch of stuff. Alright. I'm just going to drop these, because we've got plenty of those back at base. And we're going to have to break straight through here. Only way through. Back here we should have three working stuff crates. Well, we got one. Iron pickaxe. We're just going to scrap that. Iron sledgehammer. 450 dukes. It could be good to sell, but we're going to scrap that as well. Empty cardboard box and an empty cardboard box. Now we tip for you guys. If you ever come across three boxes that are stacked up like this, try breaking one, and then most of the time, back in the corner, there will be another one hidden away. Drop there. Alright, time to keep moving. So we've got some brass, iron. Alright, so once again, you can check these, break this one, we've got another one back there. Now usually, I'd like to um, put drop chests down for a lot of this loot that I'm dropping, but um, 
due to the style of the let's play and the time of the days we just we want to keep things moving along that's why i'm moving a bit faster than i normally would all right now you can come up here i don't think there's any loot up here though just a few consoles oh, we might as well take these but yeah, apart from that i don't think there's a lot up there but we'll have a look anyway Oh, some trash. You know, I'll take that. Alright, time to scrap. Shotgun bullets. Maybe we should have taken the other ones. While we're up here, we might as well grab this. For the mechanical parts. But I am going to drop the other parts. And, unfortunately... Wait for a lot of this crap to scrap. Go ahead and read that. Leave the feathers there. Alright, can we parkour our way down here? We could jump to that maybe. I <laughs> don't, don't think it's worth risking though. Or is it? Alright, tell you what, we're going to do it. Oh, we made it. Oh, look at that. We can, uh, nope. <laughs> Can't make it up there. That's all good. Found some more trash. No one still made their way in. I actually hear a cop out there now. Alright, can we boost it over? Not quite up on this and over beautiful oh there he is all right Let's see if we can uh, take this guy down and was it worth it oh all right we'll take that sure all right get rid of the evidence Bullets out of that. See if we can move any of this crap to the mini bike. That we had shotgun shells in there. I didn't actually realise that. Get the ammo in there. Plastic. Some leather apparently. Alright, the oil. Brass and lead. We might keep that on our character. We'll swap that out for the crappy pistol. Probably don't need that in there. Red T, I could potentially drop this as well to get something else in there. Might actually swap that out for the gas barrels. So yeah, we're getting to the point where it's uh, starting to get tough to know what loot that we should be bringing with us. I feel like Everything on our character at the moment should be pretty good. Might as well take that gas and dukes. Oh, actually, and animal fat in the bones, because we definitely need those. Oh, another bloody dog. Oh, shit, we got two of them. Oh, yeah, piece of shit. All right. We good? Is that it? <laughs> Not a bloody dog horde rolling up? Because that wouldn't surprise me either. Being in the hub city, probably, oh shit, the last place you want to see a dog board. He came from inside of that POI as well, so there must be more back there. Well, right, circle back and have a quick wee look. If I can, that is. Is there more of them in there? No, it's just him. Alright then. Oh. oh, damn it, man. Go down. Holy shit. Okay, we uh, took a bit of a beating there. We're actually going to have to pop first aid kit. Holy. Good old warrior difficulty. Those dogs 
definitely deal out some damage. Oh, I'll leave that in there. No painkillers. Alright, see if we can check our map now. And there's still a wee bit over there that we haven't explored. Might actually go ahead and repair this. And I'll repair the hunting knife and a club too. Just to keep our damage output up. And did you, as you just seen, it can still get pretty brutal around here. Especially those goddamn dogs. Alright, so I'm not too sure where the apartment building is. I'd say, for everybody who's wondering too, there it is there. In the next episode, we will be heading back to base. I just wanted to try get as much looting done in the hub city while we were here. But uh, you guys have now watched three episodes of us being here. So, to keep things moving along and uh, not getting too stale or boring for you guys, I think we'll head back to base. But that will not be until the next night well until after tonight it'll be probably first thing in the next episode because i would like to do a little bit more wrenching in this apartment before we leave and how we look for loot actually we'll go ahead we'll drop a bunch of this crap since this is our main drop chest perfect and we'll go hit up this uh, Shamway food since we didn't check this one. It's not an exciting POI, but hey. Alright, oh, beautiful. Some oil and gunpowder. Yeah, definitely shouldn't have been dumping the gunpowder before. I didn't actually think we were going to find so much of it. So we're just going to check all the trash places around here. Moldy bread, we need to drop that shit because I ain't going to eat that again. Right, we could pull all of these trolleys apart too for mechanical parts. That would not be a bad idea. We'll uh, bust our way inside first. Let's see how we're looking after that. Go ahead and drop these right there. Alright, so what have we got? 116. Not good. Um, right, might as well just start reaching these. Because, yeah, Shamway Foods, it's definitely not my favourite POI. Like I said, this place, really good to hit early game. But in the late game, there's not really a lot that you're going to find here that is uh, worth taking. some corn so you find that early game you turn that into seeds and there goes the start of your garden all right gonna check these beverage coolers just in case we can spot some uh mega crush right, lead Alright, I'm not even going to worry about checking the sinks and toilets and stuff. We're uh, pretty good for everything. Just going to drop all this crap. I don't plan on taking a lot of this stuff. Just want that oil. And yeah, we definitely won't say no to gunpowder. Alright, three mechanical parts off there. their way into the back room. And let's see what sort of crap we find here, because I'm not expecting anything good, that's for sure. Yeah, 
And a bunch of nothing. Not surprised. And that is <laughs> definitely one of the reasons why this is not my favourite POI. You just never seem to find a lot of anything here. Alright, we'll keep moving. See if we can find any more trash piles to loot. Tell you what, while we're here. Oh, I'm going to do that. Check it. Nothing. Glass jars and iron cans. But yeah, because we do have a bit of mechanical parts, we might as well grab these while we're here. Bit surprised that uh, no ferals spawned after last night either. So hopefully we can get some to spawn tonight, and then uh, we might be able to get a bit of loot off them in the morning. For anyone who doesn't know, ferals have a extremely rare chance at dropping fully assembled SMGs and sniper rifles. Now I presume that they may be able to drop fully assembled magnums, AKs or rocket launchers because they do drop parts for these items but I've never actually received them myself. So if anybody has, let me know in the comments down below. I have received a quality 600 sniper and a quality 600 SMG off barrels before though. Okay, we've got a cop right down here. Might as well go and drop him. Easy loop. Might actually uh, finish him off with a club. So we don't uh, run out of bullets and uh, have him explode again. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That little bastard creeping up on me. Set the dog down there too. What a beastie dog. Straight took the sniper. Oh. Oh. Alright. Club. <laughs> Goddamn dogs. Alright, nurse. Alright. Pistol. We're going to start loading these fellas because I've got a funny feeling. Uh, yeah, everybody's on their way over now. I don't like leaving core blocks lying around. Is that on the other side of the fence? Sure is. Yeah, fun over there, buddy. Hey, whoa, 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 mate. Back it up. That ain't your house. Get the fuck out of there. Alright. Alright, it is actually getting close to night time, too. So, we don't want to be attracting... Too many zombies before we go inside. Alright, crap. That's all going to have to go in our other drop chest. But it will. Probably should have put that into the mini bike, but that's all good. We can get all of that organised in the next episode. Quality 600 bandanas, pretty good as well. Obviously we won't wear it, but if anybody does remember, one of the goals for this series is to get quality 600 of every item in the game. And now that we have quality Joe maxed out, that is going to be a lot easier than it ever was. Alright, we're going to scrap a lot of the stuff that we don't need to take with us. Might, uh, might actually pop that painkiller too. Alright, so oil, bullets, might as well eat these vitamins. Now, electrical parts and components, plastics. I think we may have this stuff inside of the mini bike, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Be safe, we'll go and check. Alright, perfect. That is all good. Alright, pop that back up. 
And yeah, well, I guess the only thing that's really left to do now is loot throughout the night. See how much parts we can get. It's like I've said, we have two options. We have the option of selling all of these parts, or at least half of them, or holding on to them for crafting purposes in the future. All right, did we do this one? All right, so this is the room that we're up to. So yeah, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to keep breaking down all this crap, wrenching as much as I can. And if anything exciting happens, then I'll bring you guys back. Something else that I do want to mention too is I am sorry for the late uploads. I've been a bit busy IRL, but um, very shortly things will be organised and we'll be able to get back to more consistent uploads because as everybody knows, I like to aim for every two to three days for the Let's Play. And not only that, but in my uh, spare time, I've been playing a bit of art, getting uh, back into the habit of doing things in the game. So do expect to see a Let's Play starter for that at some time soon, or at least some tips and tricks videos. So I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing that. Alright, I can hear something out there. Is it a cop? I'm not actually too sure. Break this window and have a look, eh? Is that a feral? Well, like that we got a zombie that sensed us all the way down there. Shoot her through the fence. Oh, there she's out. Oh, look at that. We got a bear over there, too. You know, you guys know how it goes in this world. When we see a bear, it's on. If I can kill him before he gets over here, I'll be bloody happy. If not, then uh, I guess we're uh, fighting off the air. Alright, we got to get downstairs because he's uh, going to be making his way in here in no time. Oh, shit. Oh, and he's down. Alright. <laughs> that could have been bad. Another one to us. The war on bears continues. It might be a cop making that noise. Not too sure. Not too worried. But yeah, I don't know. Also, let me know, guys. Do you want to see more looting in the hub city? Or do you want to see us go back to base and start preparing for the horde? Me personally, I'm not too worried. Like I said, the main aim at the moment is to pretty much just get as much oil as we possibly can. Pretty sure I just heard a gore block break outside. I have no idea what from. There's that cop that we keep hearing. Just chilling down there. And that nurse is still down there. Tell you what, two o'clock. Done a bit of looting, done a bit of wrenching. Let's make our way back up to the top floor. We've almost uh, pulled this entire place apart as well, which is great. But yeah, let's have a wee scope out from up here. See what we can find. Because I'd like to know if some ferals spawned in. We didn't get any last night. Oh, definitely not seen a lot. Must have been the cop and the bear with the big things that spawned in. But no feral. Oh, i got to be careful. I don't want to be uh, running off this roof. It'll be a quick way to get back to base, but... <laughs> we won't be taking any loot with us. Yeah, I can't seem... To see anything. So I think we're looking pretty good. Must just be this cop down here. Should we see if we can uh, deal with him then. If he 
it just stays there, then uh, we should have no worries at all. And back in the corner. Boom. Alright, we'll grab his loot tomorrow, for sure. And undetected. Still got this nurse over here. Don't think we can hit her through the fence, though, unfortunately. Oh, no. Look at that, we can. Beautiful. Look at that easy is that. Undetected. Oh, what do we got down here? And bang. Put in the bush. She's on her way over now. No, she's stuck. That's not the hell she's doing. She walking? Surely not. She just likes that rock. Oh well. Problem solved. Oh. We've got zombies spawning in. Where are the ferals then? Oh, we're getting feral spawning in. Some bullshit. Maybe if we kill this fella, something else will spawn in. Oh. Did that cop just spawn in? I swear I couldn't see him before. Weird that he's not, uh, I was going to say, it's weird that he's not running over here. Wondering if we were uh, too far away from him. And he's down. Alright, so we've got a couple of cops to loot. I think we need to be vigilant and see if this causes anything else to spawn. Is that another bear? Oh, you got to be shitting me. It's the time, 3.30. Here's a way to end off the episode. Let's get this goddamn bear. Stay still. Stay there, boy. Come on. Go down, you bastard. <laughs> Always tough. Oh, look at him. This bear can parkour. Holy shit. Never seen that before. Bears out here in the hub city are built different, I tell you. Alright, we might actually have to uh, get downstairs and deal with him. I don't think I'm going to be able to shoot him from up here anymore. Just in time for breakfast. Too bad we can't eat this beer. We ain't looking for no rotten steaks. Need to come to the door, my friend. Oof, feeling mighty paranoid being out here. Fuck it. Let's go. Get this beer before the sun comes up. Oh yeah, here he comes. Now we're lucky that we uh, put a few shots into him with the sniper. So I'm telling you now, those bears can deal some damage. We even got a bit of XP from that. So leveled us up. So go ahead, skin him. Grab ourselves some breakfast. Got just the thing and the mini bike. So you guys, as the sun comes up, that means our time is up. I hope you all enjoyed the episode, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe for more console content. But as always, stay safe out there, survivors, and I'll see you on the next one.